Today we're going to convert our JZX speed units from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. The only way you can truly do this is if you have the Dakota Digital Converter Box. It's actually called the Dakota Digital Universal Speedometer Interface, but I'm just going to call it the Converter Box. If you need help installing the converter box on your JZX, the link will be in the description. First, we remove this metal retainer. It'll come out with very little effort. It's what keeps the numbers on your odometer nice and straight. Then this pin will have to be popped out. You can use a flathead to very carefully pry the other end open if needed. No need to remove the entire pin, just one side. The goal is to just get the cogs out of the teeth of the odometer. This will allow you to change the odometer. Now, I didn't engineer the odometer, but I feel this might have been designed to break if removed. If you see any damage repairs or stress cracks in yours, it's likely it's been tempered with. I did leave a tiny little stress crack in mine, which didn't affect anything. But keep in mind, since this pen is not a rotating object, you can glue it back in place if you accidentally destroy the housing. Once done, make sure the gears are in sync with the teeth on the odometer, and keep it in place by placing your thumb at the end of the pen. While it's held in place, secure the metal retainer. I need to find a suitable sticker to cover up the kilometers per hour, but for now, this ISR sticker will act as a placeholder. Speed can only be calibrated while the car is in motion, so unfortunately I wasn't able to safely record and calibrate. But basically you want to press the minus button if your speedo reads higher than your phone's GPS. Press the plus button if your speedo reads lower than the GPS. With the Dakota Digital Converter Box, you can convert kilometers per hour to miles per hour on just about every JDM car with any transmission combo. Personally, I use the ABS as a signal since my CD009 doesn't come with a speed sensor provision. If you have an R154 or any other normal transmission, you can splice into the original speed sensor. Two and a half miles when we get there. All right, let's see how accurate this is. As you can see, I'm not on a Taco Bell. On the money. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how fast you were going? Yes. 